In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a WhatsApp flow for appointment bookings. Integrating such a flow will increase your booking rates and reduce the drop off rate. Why? Because it reduces frictions as users can complete the entire booking process within WhatsApp, a platform they already know, like and trust. Now, let me show you how you can set this up. So first of all, you want to make sure that you create a calendar that is a personal calendar and not a group calendar or a collective calendar because they don't work. So click on calendars, calendar settings, and then simply click create new calendar. And here you would have to select personal booking. You cannot select class or collective because WhatsApp will not work with those. Okay. We have already set this up. So let's move over to WhatsApp. Let's click on flows, click add appointment flow, give your flow a name. And then here you select a calendar in question. Click next. Then in the second step, you will see these fields which are being pre-filled. Please note that you cannot add any guests through the WhatsApp flows. WhatsApp or Meta just doesn't support that feature. So these fields are going to be the default fields. No other fields are available at the moment. Also, please note that you cannot collect payments with WhatsApp. So if you have a calendar that supports payment or is asking for payments, that will not be working in flows. And then let's click next. And here you can add the template message. So give that a header add your body. If you wanted to add variables, you can click add variable first name here, type hello, comma, and then on the right hand side, you can see the message preview here. Then under footer, you can add your agency name and then add a catchy text to the button book instantly. For example, let's hit publish. Once you publish this, it will show up under the conversations tab in flows. So if you go to conversations, you will see that there is no conversation going. So one thing you need to make sure that there is an ongoing conversation with your customer to start the troubleshooting, go back to WhatsApp, go to numbers, click the three dots on the right here, share WhatsApp, then grab your phone and scan this QR code, send yourself a message so that that shows up in the conversations tab. And here we are, here it is. Here you can see the test message. Now, once you have a conversation going, you'll be able to see this send flow button right here. Click that. Then you can select the flow that you would like to send to this person. In this case, appointment with Tina. And then you see it pre-populates all the text that you've just earlier created inside the WhatsApp flow section. Then you would just hit send. Then let me go ahead on my phone and fill out the WhatsApp flow from there. So here's the header, book an appointment. Here is the text and then the footer as well. So click book instantly because that's a call to action we added to the button, right? Then you want to select a time zone, the date when you want to book that appointment. Then you want to select a date. Then you want to select a time. 11 a.m. is good. And here you can see it pre-populates already all my data, which makes me go a lot faster in the process, which will help you to increase those bookings. Then if the prospect wants to add additional info, they can do that. Awesome. Then they have to confirm that they want to receive content from this company, GDPR, compliance, and so on and so forth. And then just hit simply book now. Awesome. And here's the confirmation already appointment with Tina on 25th of June, 11 a.m. And here are all the details, additional info. Then let's hit close. And at the bottom, you can see sent. Now back in the conversations tab, you can see a new appointment has been created. You can here click on view appointment and then all the details of that appointment will show up on the right hand side, including the source where that comes from, which is the WhatsApp flow. Down here, you can also see the additional info the client or the prospect has left whilst filling out that flow form. Also, if you click on the right hand side bar here under appointments, you will see that appointment showing up. Now let me show you how you can send a WhatsApp flow through a workflow. Let's click on automation on the left. Let's create new workflow from scratch. As the trigger, you want to select the trigger customer replied. Then you want to select the channel. Reply channel is WhatsApp. Hit save. Click the action. Select WhatsApp send flows. Select the flow in question. Here you can see the body, the header, the footer, and the call to action again. Hit save. And here you can decide what happens after the flow has been completed, undelivered, or timed out. Now there's another option to send this free of charge from the in app appointment booking flow. So let's get rid of that. Delete. As you may remember, there is an action called the service window, the customer service window. Okay, select that. And that means if the customer sent you a message for the next 24 hours, the utility messages will be free. So we want to select the number we want to send this from. Then here you can see the open branch and the close branch. Hit save. Then under the open one, you want to send the WhatsApp send flows. Select your flow. Everything else will be pre-populated and hit save. And like this, the flow will be sent free of charge if the customer sent you the message first. So again, you put customer replied here via WhatsApp and that would be it. Now, the first 1000 service conversations per month when it comes to appointment booking via flows 
will be free of charge. And after that, the usual pricing model applies. Also, please note if the number is in coexistence, which means the WhatsApp number is operating from the CRM as well as from your business WhatsApp app on your phone, then the flow function does not work as Meta does not support flows with coexisting numbers. I hope you like this feature and I will see you in the next video.